Agaya and Ubuntu, welcome to this Nova Sutra solstice celebration. I'm Dr. Michelle Merrill. I'm recording this session ahead of time from my home here near Santa Cruz, California. I'm hoping this will keep things simpler so that I can be fully present with you for the synchronous meditation at the time of the solstice. After we finish out the meditation, I'll invite you to join a Zoom conference call. So if you are started this recording ahead of time, uh, you have the opportunity to be sure that you've downloaded the Zoom application on your computer or phone before the solstice uh, and will be ready to go. Don't worry if you haven't, it goes really quick. So uh, again, if, the, if you're watching this ahead of time, I'm going to recommend that you join the globally synchronized meditation by beginning this video right at 1530 UTC, that's 830 AM Pacific time on Friday, June 21st. You'll want to be able to arrange yourself for a meditation session. Uh, so try to find a place where you can be comfortable. You won't be disturbed while you listen and follow along. So in this session, while we're settling in, I'll tell people a little bit more about the solstice and I'll talk to you about the Nova Sutras movement. I'll explain a little bit about our key concepts, Agaya and Ubuntu. Then in a few minutes, We'll open sacred space by calling the corners and then start a guided meditation. I'll help you get into a calm, relaxed, and meditative state. And then I'll let you know the precise time of the solstice. And for a few minutes, we'll all really focus on reverence and loving kindness, a Gaia and Ubuntu for the world. After we finish our meditation together, I'll invite you to join the Zoom conference call where we can take time to reflect on the experience and to answer your questions. At 54 minutes after the hour will be the specific moment when we are at the June solstice, that instant when the sun is directly overhead on the Tropic of Cancer. No matter where you are on Earth, on this day, the sun appears to be the farthest north it will be all year and it seems to rest there in the days just before and after the solstice. In the Northern Hemisphere, this makes today the longest day of the year in the beginning of summer. In the Southern Hemisphere, it's the shortest day of the year. The seasons are related to the orbit of the Earth around our Sun and how the Northern and Southern Hemispheres are sometimes tilted toward the Sun and sometimes tilted away from the Sun. Nova Sutra celebrates the solstices, equinoxes, and cross quarters because these are amazing planetary phenomena about the interaction of our home planet and our sun. All humans everywhere can agree on this. And therefore we find that many religious traditions actually include some celebration associated with these eight times of the year. For Nova Sutra celebrations of the solstices, some important themes are the celebration of the sun and what it brings us, pausing for reflection, contrasts, the extreme differences between day and night, light and dark, and also global unity because we are all experiencing one of these extreme points of the year. For the Northern Hemisphere, abundance and vigor are also key themes to incorporate in your June summer solstice celebrations. For the winter solstice in the Southern Hemisphere, endurance, endings, and new beginnings are appropriate themes. In Nova Sutras, we talk about a Gaia. A Gaia is a new term that's intended as an expression of the deep, sacred beauty of the universe. We also talk about Ubuntu, which is an expansion on this South African term that represents the connections between all things. Ubuntu binds us all together in the more than human world with reverence, joy, generosity, gratitude, and loving kindness. The Nova Sutras movement seeks to promote Agaya and Ubuntu. We honor the principles that all of nature is sacred and should be treated with reverence and loving kindness. That change is essential, inevitable, 
and important in all life. That complexity and maturity emerge from cooperative relationships. And that the beauty of the living world is to be savored, honored, celebrated, and protected. The intention with the Nova Sutras movement is to invite the power of community to transform global civilizations into expressions of Nova Sutra's core values. So we begin to live in a world abiding in Ubuntu and Agaya. The Nova Sutras movement is just in its second year our goals for this next Orbit of the Sun include continuing to organize celebrations of equinoxes, solstices, cross quarters. Uh, please get in contact with us if you want help hosting a local celebration. We intend to create an online library of Nova Sutra's philosophy, research, and practices. We hope to inspire worldwide conversations about community based on Agaya and Ubuntu and continue growing Nova Sutra's communities all around the world. As we build momentum, the Nova Sutra's movement hopes to bring people together to defend and protect the environment, Agaya and Ubuntu, to respond to disasters and rebuild after disasters, to support social justice causes, to promote education and research, growing and preserving knowledge and culture, and to spread joy and celebration. How do you want to participate? The Nova Sutras movement is going to need help to make this happen. We need people who will share information about the movement and help it grow. We need creators, collaborators to work together on Nova Sutras projects and we need people to be generous, people who can share their space to host celebrations or small gatherings, people who might have equipment they can donate, materials for celebrations. And of course, we need people who can provide financial support. Maybe that's by buying Nova Sutra stuff, posters, t-shirts, reusable cups and bags from our Redbubble site. Um, or maybe you're someone who can contribute funds directly to support the cost of our efforts and help build the movement. Please consider supporting us through Patreon. Uh, there will be a link in the description below this video. Before we begin our meditation, we'll open this as a sacred space, using a practice that Buddhists might recognize as a form of metta, and that practitioners of many indigenous or neo-pagan religions might recognize as calling the corners or calling the quarters. You can do this while standing and moving or just sitting and thinking, whichever is more comfortable for you right now. We'll address each of the six directions, sending out wishes for Agaya and Ubuntu, joy, wonder, peace, and loving kindness. I like to start with the nearest cardinal direction where the sun is now. On the solstice, it will be morning here in California, so the sun will be in the east. I'll go around the compass directions, following the path of the sun, east to south to west, then north, then also up and down. Then we'll start with ourselves as the center and radiate out. Please follow along out loud if you like or just think and feel through it, sending your wishes out in that direction or that space. May all beings to the east abide in Agaya and Ubuntu. May all beings to the south abide in Agaya and Ubuntu. May all beings to the west Abide in Agaya and Ubuntu. May all beings to the north abide in Agaya and Ubuntu. May all beings above abide in Agaya and Ubuntu. May all beings below abide in Agaya. And Ubuntu. 
May I abide in a Gaia and Ubuntu. May all beings nearby, all those I can reach with my senses, abide in a Gaia and Ubuntu. May all beings in this watershed abide in a Gaia and Ubuntu. May all beings in this bioregion abide in a Gaia and Ubuntu. May all beings on this continent abide in a Gaia and Ubuntu. May all beings of this hemisphere abide in a Gaia and Ubuntu. May all beings belonging to Earth's beautiful, bountiful and beneficent biosphere abide in a Gaia and Ubuntu. May all life everywhere in the universe abide in a Gaia and Ubuntu. Now you're invited to find a comfortable place to sit and you can close your eyes if you like. Once you're sitting comfortably, take a deep breath in. Hold it for a moment. Now exhale slowly and completely. Inhale slowly through your nose, noticing the feeling of air moving past your nostrils, down and into your lungs. Hold and then slowly release the breath. Feel how your chest and belly move and relax as you exhale. Now allow your chest and belly to expand and rise gently as you inhale. Continue to take deep, relaxing breaths as we begin to welcome in Ubuntu and Agaya. Ubuntu expands our awareness of connection, of interbeing. Consider one person with whom you have experienced connection. Now think of other people that you love and the people that love you. Feel how you are a part of these interwoven connections of loving kindness. As you imagine that sense of Ubuntu expanding out through all the people who have connections to all the people you know all around the world. Now consider other beings in the more than human world whom you regard with loving kindness. Consider your favorite tree or flowers and feel your connection with them. Recognize that with every breath in, you take in nourishing oxygen that some plant exhales. Then you exhale carbon dioxide that will nourish other photosynthesizers. All your food was once alive and that life nourishes you. This is interbeing at its deepest level. This is what we call Ubuntu. Everywhere in the world, these interconnections exist. As you breathe in, allow yourself to feel these connections of Ubuntu. As you breathe out, 
Send your gratitude for them along those radiating interconnections. This gratitude to other beings with whom we share connection is one facet of what we call a Gaia. A Gaia is also the deep sense of wonder we feel when we catch the scent of pine in the air, when we see a bird fly gracefully overhead, when we hear the roar of the surf, when we feel the warmth of sun on our face or when we gaze up at a clear night sky filled with distant stars. It is our profound connection to the sacred beauty of our universe. A Gaia can inspire feelings of humbleness, but also feeling of expansive joy as you slowly inhale invite this sacred joy of a Gaia into the center of your being hold it for a moment and then as you release your breath send with it your feelings of humble gratitude to spread out into the world Inhale, wonder and joy. Exhale, gratefulness for interconnection. Inhale, Agaya. Exhale, Ubuntu. Inhale, Agaya. Exhale. Ubuntu. Inhale, Agaya. Exhale, Ubuntu. Hold that feeling of interconnection. Then exhale a Gaia to spread joy and wonder into the universe. Inhale Ubuntu. And exhale a Gaia. Inhale Ubuntu. Exhale a Gaia. Inhale, Ubuntu. Exhale, Agaya.
We can connect with the Gaia when we consider how the Earth travels around the Sun in a wide ellipse. Our Sun is traveling as well, orbiting the gravitational center of our galaxy. So the Earth and all the other planets of our solar system move along with the moving Sun, forming a beautiful path a set of winding helices through space-time. How does it feel to be on this lovely sphere in a spiral dance around our sun as we travel around the heart of the galaxy? How does it feel to know that every atom in your body, just as in everything on Earth, was once in the heart of a star that died, a star whose ashes formed our own solar system? How does it feel to know that something as simple and elegant as a leaf can capture the light from our sun and turn it into sugars, into sweetness and sustenance, and the structures of life itself? In less than a minute, we will reach the astronomical solstice. From an earthly perspective, the sun will be directly overhead in the Atlantic Ocean, just northeast of Barbuda and the other islands of the Antilles. Envision how that might look and feel right now a brilliant midday sun directly over the vast blue Atlantic. Were you sitting on a becalmed sailboat there, the mast would cast no shadow. Imagine taking the warmth and shimmering radiance of the sun overhead and transforming it into loving kindness into Ubuntu and a Gaia. Now, imagine Ubuntu and a Gaia shining forth through you, from your heart out into the world. Know that you are surrounded by community, that everyone meditating right now is there with you, that we are all radiating Ubuntu and Agaya. Together, 
we shine Ubuntu in Agaya across the deep and sparkling vastness of the ocean. Together, we shine Ubuntu in Agaya to every place on earth, now touched by the light of this solstice sun. Together, we shine Agaya and Ubuntu out to touch all those in the dark of night right now, all around the world. Together, we shine the light of Ubuntu and Agaya across the universe from our beautiful little home world. Together, we inhale Agaya and exhale Ubuntu. Together, we inhale Ubuntu and exhale Agaya. Extend these feelings of Agaya and Ubuntu and offer them as a gift to the whole world. The solstice is an important time to pause and reflect. What are some things you are happy about or proud of from this last orbit of the sun? What are some things that are no longer serving you? Things that you hope to leave behind you as we move into our next orbit. What are you looking forward to in this coming trip around the sun? How do you want to feel by this time next year? Envision how your day might be on the June solstice in 2020. What things will bring you joy through the year between now and then? When you're ready, you may begin to shift, open your eyes, and allow yourself to gently return to the here and now. You should come into a state of calm attention, energized by your contemplation of Ubuntu and Agaya through the moment of the solstice. Take a moment to thank yourself and to thank all our participants, online and off, for sharing in this worldwide meditation. We in the Nova Sutras community thank you for taking this step toward planetary wellness and awareness. We hope that you'll share your reflections, ideas, and questions with us. You can add them to the comments below here on YouTube or talk about them with us in the live Zoom call that's about to start. Follow the link in the description below. It's the same link on the Nova Sutras event website. I really want to thank you for joining in this Nova Sutras event. Thank you for all that you do as an agent for change, Ubuntu, and a Gaia in this world. I hope to see you soon on Zoom and maybe soon in real life as well.
Ubuntu and a Gaia to you.